Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a phone, it came from another shop, and let's have a look. It's iPhone 6s. I shouldn't say that it came from another shop, I should say it's destroyed by another shop. What the hell? What is that? The, the backlight I see is literally lifted <laughs> and I guess all the beds under will be messed up so today's video is about how to fix garbage came from another shop let's confirm that this phone is actually working still working because I doubt Let's connect it to the computer, let's connect it to iTunes and check if it's still alive because I don't have high hopes for that. I guess it's actually dead. Let's check the battery if it's if it has voltage. The battery is dead. So let me charge the battery and I'll get back to you. Let's check, let's check the battery again. Now after 10 minutes of charging and it's 3.77. I guess we can connect to iTunes now. Give it a minute to detect. I don't feel CPU warming up like when the CPU is warming up it's a good sign that the phone is booting it's totally cold now let's connect it to a power supply The current draw is uh, like 40, 60, 80, 30, like it's fluctuating too much, which is not a good sign. It's not booting. It is not booting. So this phone came to that shop for backlight repair. The screen was uh, wasn't working. I mean, uh, most of the customers they don't know if it's the backlight not working or a screen not working or the phone is not working it's the job of the technician to find that out but what I see here that the current consumption is uh, fluctuating no no it's giving very small uh, value for the current, like the maximum, it draws like 80 uh, amps. I'm gonna remove this IC first to check if it's the one making it not boot. I'm afraid also that this IC is the strobe IC and it's uh, totally underfilled. Most of the time when you try to change backlight and this IC have too much underfill, this IC, uh, the balls under this chip melt and get touching each others and if it's... Uh, Okay, I see here also there is no filter and I see this uh, coil is actually broken. So let me check the diode mode for the VCC main. I, I know I don't have short for VCC main. I just want to check the value should be about 300. I guess this is a VCC main. 
Oh, that's it's 500, which is too much. Let's check the backlight circuit. It's a 500 also. Mm -hmm. So let's clear that area. Let's remove that chip. actually broken okay the beds are fine the beds are fine mm, no not quite sure <laughs> they are fine because the area here is uh, like Oh my god, that's totally not fine. Oh my god, oh my god. That guy who tried to fix this phone is... He, he go too deep into the layers of the board he go too deep here and cut the traces inside the board that's too deep let's check now the resistance for VCC main Now it's a 300. Okay. Let's try to boot the phone again. It's not booting at all. It's just like 10 milliamps, 30 milliamps, 40, 50, 80, then drop again. And repeat. Hence and repeat. So this phone is not booting. And what I see here is like the technician he just used the knife too deep inside the board and maybe that led to cut some of the traces inside in between the layers let's do something just for testing just to check let's remove the strobe IC let's remove it and check what kind of behavior we will get from the phone after removing this chip oh my god that's totally moved that coil I, I, I know it's a CPU coil Oh my god! Everything is moving here. I don't care about the chip.
and I don't care for those cabasters, but I care about this coil, oh my god. Let's double check if that uh, is a CPU coil. No, it's not. It's LED coil. It's for... Uh, the stroke driver. Okay, now let's give it a test. We'll see if it's booting or no. The board is a little hot. We'll give it a minute. Okay, now what? Uh huh, that's changed. Now it's stuck on 70 milliamps, which I guess is uh, DFU mode. Mm -hmm. DFU mode, not also a good sign. Let's double check it. Connect. I don't hear anything. Are you with the few mode? CPU is not warming up. That's kind, uh, kind of warming, little. Not, not like kind of, uh, not like a short or something. Okay, let me connect power supply. Maybe the battery is still uh, below charging point. Computer is not detecting the phone at all. CPU is little warm, not like a short. It's like it's trying to boot, but it's not. Considering what I see in the area, all the components are moving. Uh, I wouldn't waste my time fixing this phone. This phone got to this position because unexperienced technician tried to fix it. So, no fix. I hope you enjoyed that video. I'm sorry that I couldn't fix this phone. But next time I promise you I will bring a phone which is not garbage. Uh, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you will get notified every time I do a video. Till then, my work here is done and I'll see you next one.